All right, guys, I have this amazing video I want to share with you now. It's longer and it starts off kind of slow, but it really picks up halfway in. It's so powerful, and I really, really, really think this is going to be helpful for you. So, without further ado, we're jumping into it. What's going on? Just have my, you know, my afternoon cup of coffee or fasting fuel with my my boy Cairo, and uh, I want to talk a little bit about this whole bulking thing and. Really, if I'm going to pursue this this bulk this winter, and the reality is, is I don't see the point. And even though I believe in this whole idea of kind of having that leaner look, like 5'10", 175, having good strength and muscle, being having that defined, crisp, cool, chill look. We don't look too bulky and stocky, so you kind of have that that nice kind of style going on. Even though I kind of believe in that, you know, it'd be fun to pursue a new challenge. It'd be fun to go out there and, and start bulking. Um, but but here's the problem. Here's the problem is that what you have to remember is that, A, I've been training for about 10 years. I've been training for about 10 years, so I've already gained about 95% of my muscle growth. Even though I'm only 174, you know, even though I'm, I'm still under under 10% body fat, about 8% body fat, but um, I gain most of my muscle. So the amount of muscle I have left to, to build is is actually quite small, assuming I want to keep my body fat low, which I do. So the reality is is that there's nothing impressive about me of me bulking anymore. Sure, I could put on five, 10 pounds. Some of it would be muscle, probably a little bit, and there'd be a bit more of, of it would be fat, but that would diminish my overall look and aesthetic. I wouldn't have as much muscle proportion. I wouldn't have as much muscle separation. I wouldn't look as big in a sh with my shirt off because the muscles wouldn't pop out as much. My face would become chubbier. My waist would become thicker, which would throw off my proportions because I understand the limits that we face as naturals. Now, there's a lot of people on YouTube that fuck around with gear and drugs, whether it's moderate doses or low doses, that can do a bulk. They can do a bulk and they can make an impressive bulking transformation because they have the testosterone and the hormones to support gaining muscle at a fast rate even though they've been training for five to 10 years or more. What I want you to understand is that Gaining muscle is a slow process, which I've been saying from day one, and it's a very slow process when you've been training for about 10 years. So ultimately, at this level of training, and you know, numerous um, you know, scientific evidence-based experts have kind of put up this idea that you know, when you've been training for five, 10 years, gaining five pounds of muscle in a year is the upper limit. That's the upper limit. So if you guys wanna see me do a proper lean bulk, You'd be waiting for a year to, for me to put on five pounds of muscle. So in essence, what I would be doing if I went on this bulk is I'd be showing you that bulking when you've been training for a long time and you're natural isn't that impressive. You know, I might look bigger in a shirt. I might, my list might come up a bit more, although my relative strength, my strength proportion to body weight might actually go down, you know? So, you know, in this world, in this fitness world, we see so many examples of people that are taking drugs, that are achieving these crazy uh, unrealistic bodies and going on these bulks and putting on a ton of size and they gain, they gain a lot of muscle. And a lot of times we have to remember that a lot of these people are, aren't doing it naturally. A lot of these people are using drugs, you know, and, um, and that helps them a lot. I mean, the research is clear that taking steroids makes a big, big difference. And my goals right now and sort of my journey that I want to share with you over the next few months is mostly going to be me staying around the same weight and recomping. Um, I want to just focus on getting my lifts and my relative strength as strong as possible because I know that if right now, you know, I um, and this is what I think you guys should care about because again, even if you're, you are relatively beginner, intermediate, I mean, you sure you have muscle to gain, but your biggest focus shouldn't be on just adding 10, 15 pounds to scale aimlessly. It should be on those lifts. And those lifts are what are gonna bring up your, 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 your muscle mass. For, so for you, if you're bench pressing 150 for eight reps, you wanna focus on getting that up. You wanna focus on getting to 185 for eight reps, getting to 225 for eight reps, as opposed to just aimlessly adding weight to the scale. So for me, um, and, and one of the other reasons why I don't wanna just fucking do this bulk for, you know, put on five, 10 pounds, cause it's just, I don't like cutting. I don't like having the excess fat, I only having to cut for three, four months and having, having to be a bit more diligent about what I put in my body. So I'd much rather just nail this lifestyle where I'm eating a lot, but dialing things in, but not gaining weight. So then I never have to worry about restricting calories because it's a lot more fun 
to eat at maintenance. For me, I can maintain my weight around 2,600 calories, 27, 28. That's a lot of fun. If I want to cut and lose, you know, a pound and a half a week, I'm looking at 2,000 calories. That's not that fun. And if I have like 10 pounds of fat I want to cut, I'm looking at doing, you know, six, seven consecutive weeks of 2,000 calories, which kind of is shitty. That doesn't give me the room I want to eat out. It doesn't give me the room I want to hang with my friends and go drinking. Um, you know, you can make it work. You can make it enjoyable. But for like heck, 2,700 is, is a hell of a lot more enjoyable. Um, so, and, and not to mention when you're cutting like that for extended period of time, you know, it, it, their, their lifts take a toll or it's harder for those lifts to increase or even maintain them compared to eating at maintenance. So when you do these bulks and you want to cut back down, there's always a trade off. Was the bulk worth it? Cause I had to cut back down for two, three months. A lot of times you're better off just eating at the, that small little eating at maintenance or a small little surplus and slowly, slowly your weight will come up, but it will come up in a lean way. So. My goals really over the, the, the next uh, few months is get my lifts up and uh, get my incline press up, get my flat bench up, get my shoulder presses up. Um, those are the lifts I'm really focusing on. Get my leg strength up because um, unfortunately with my injury I sustained last winter um, or last you know fall slash winter, um, it's harder for me to kind of push it hard on the pulls, the weighted chins, the curls, nor do I feel like I need to build much more back size. Um, so, and focus a lot on the, the chest, the shoulders strength, and a bit more on the legs, and you know, put on some strength and stay around 172, 175, and you know, uh, reveal an amazing and awesome, awesome body for you, hopefully. Where I, I, I'm not a lot bigger, but I have like a bit more density, a bit more fullness, a bit more of an impre uh, impressionable body. Because I know the research, I know what the body is capable of doing naturally when you've been training for 10 years and it's, 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 it's so f trivial, it's so trivial what I could do right now with the bulk. Um, you know, I made an impressive transformation when I came back from my injury and I gained, you know, 40 pounds onto some of my lifts, you know, my weight only went up, you know, a few pounds, but I, I, I increased muscle mass about five pounds, dropped, you know, body fat, you know, I probably increased my muscle mass about six pounds and dropped, you know, about four pounds of fat, but, um, but, uh, that was because I came off that injury as well. So, I mean, right, I know right now, nothing like super impressive is going to happen with a bulk. It's the unfortunate truth about bulking and why I probably, I'm not going to do a bulk, but I'm going to do a, what, what I, I'm going to do a keto body smart bulk, as I call it, which is basically, you know, eating around maintenance, not worrying about adding 10 pounds and just focusing on getting my list as strong as possible. And those lists will ideally translate into muscle growth, which is, which is true because the research shows that when you're advanced, when you're advanced trainer, trainee, and you gain strength, that strength is damn neat, like very closely tied to muscle growth. You know, about uh, most of that strength can be tied back to muscle growth um, because building strength without muscle is more of a noob effect. Noobs, they don't know how to uh, recruit the muscle fibers very well. They don't have that neuromuscular coordination. They start training, their muscles learn how to fire properly, they get more coordinated from a neural standpoint, and they can lift more. Same thing, if you've never done a new exercise before and you do it, you can be able to gain strength very, very fast. Very, very fast. That strength isn't 100% muscle growth. But when you've been doing that exercise for years, you've been training for years, then adding 15 pounds to your lift is a result of growing bigger muscles. Even if your weight stays around the same because you know you could have lost a bit of fat and gained a bit of muscle, which is fucking awesome. So that's why I will probably not go and do a bulk. At the very most, I might let myself get up to 180, but again, I know, I know this stuff very well. I've been doing this stuff for 10 years. I know that I look better at a lower weight. I look better at 168 to 170. That's where I peak. Probably the, 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 the best thing I could do is try and get the body ahead at 168 and get that at 171, 172. So the same leanness at 168 is 171, 172. But the idea that I'm gonna be able to get up to 180, 185 and look fucking amazing is only possible with fucking steroids and drugs. This is why I laugh every time I get people saying, oh, you know, you gotta be on gear. It's like, dude, if I was on gear, I'd be 190 shredded, obviously, easily, because I was the person that at 18, 19 years old, already had a lot of muscle and already had impressive lifts. I'm the person that probably if I was on gear, I'd look more like some of these um, roid using uh, physique guys that are, you know, 220, 230. <laughs> than this. Ah, <laughs> oh, silly, silly, silly people. But the unfortunate thing is that probably for a lot of you guys listening, you can do a bulk. You can focus on putting 15 pounds of muscle on in, you know, six months to a year because you aren't close to that genetic limit. 
you're well below it likely. So in your case, you may be very, very, very lucky, but for people that already have a good, you know, they're at a good weight, good leanness, they've been training for years, they have good strength, then what they really wanna do is focus on dialing things in. Give yourself, you know, a five pound window range. Stay in those five pounds and try and get stronger week after week, month after month. And maybe eventually, if you're lucky, you've done it very well, then maybe that five pound window might, might increase a bit. So at first, you might try and stay between 160, 165. After chilling there for six months, you might be like, you know what, let's go for, let's try and get that same leanness at 160, 165, at, uh, 165 to 170. And you might stay there for six months or even a year. And then you, you, know, you might get to this point where you're at 172, that's where you look your biggest at a certain body fat. Um, so this is just me being, just giving you facts, giving you realistic facts. Again, I could go on a bulk and bulk up to 180, 185, and I'd look worse, and I'd look chubbier, and I'd put on a bit of muscle, but it mostly would probably be fat. And this isn't me being, um, being pessimistic. This isn't me just being you know, a negative Nancy, if you will. It's just me, just me being, just knowing facts, knowing truth, knowing research, knowing what's possible and being honest with it. It's, it's great and all dandy to pretend like, yeah, man, power of the mind, power of hard work. I can get to 200 and look good and no. And uh, I mean, last thing you guys gotta understand is that, um, you know, uh, so many of these YouTubers, so many of these Instagram guys, some of these people that are claiming natty are not actually freaking natty. It's, it look, if you look at their year to year progress, or you look at their weight and body fat and their fat free mass index, it's clear they, they're, on, they're on some gear. Even people that look shittier than me are on freaking gear, um, which, is, which, which, is, uh, which is crazy. Um, so, and again, you know, I'll probably do a video in the future or an interview with an expert and talk about really the downsides of going on the gear route because believe it or not, people act like, oh, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like no big deal. It's like taking an Advil. It's like, you know, <laughs> preposterous, absolutely preposterous. Taking gear is not good for you and your overall health, but that will be expanded in another future video where we'll get down to brass tacks and really, really talk about a lot of this stuff. Um, but for sure, it's damaging to your to your health from numerous standpoints, and and we'll cover that in, in you know in a future uh, a future video. Uh, but I think a lot of these people in the community are trying to put out this idea that you know oh you know there's no side effects to to to, to taking to taking juice, and and you know we we know what's actually going on there. Um, but anyways, guys, you know I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if you really wanted to see me bulk and get huge and jacked and. And that's probably why a lot of these YouTubers take go on or Instagram people go on steroids because they know it creates a super impressive effect. You know, I could you know I could go on I could go on some 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 steroids, some gear, and say, hey guys, I'm going to start building muscle. I'm going to I'm going to show you guys the power of my programs. I'm going to gain 15 pounds of muscle of clean, legit, lean muscle in five months, and I'll get up to 190 and be seven eight percent body fat. And I, you know, and, and then I, I could do that and, you know, people would be seeing me and be like, holy shit, that's crazy. What, 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 but no, I am here because I really believe in, in, in doing this stuff natural. I believe in, in, in having fun with it. I believe in having patience. I believe in learning self-acceptance. I believe in loving the process. I believe in, you know, in, in focusing on, you know, long-term health, longevity. Um, I believe in, 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 in in intelligence, I believe in, in in dialing in the process, not by being like, oh, let me go on drugs to get better results, let me find a better drug combo, but like uncovering what works. This is why I developed my approach. It was over 10 years of, tr of trying multiple different programs, of tracking them, of getting good progress, of seeing certain things fail, and then asking why, and doing my own research, and, and seeking out different experts, different authorities, and just fine tune the process, fine tune the process, see what really works best. And part of that is actually accepting the fact that, you know what, I'm not gonna be able to get to 190 shredded. I'm not gonna be able to get to 190 shredded. If I was six foot one, for sure I could do that. Because if I was you know, three inches taller, it'd allow me to carry an extra 20 pounds of lean body mass. There's the truth. And to be honest, am I upset about that? Am I angry about that? Am I angry about uh, the limits that naturals have on ourselves? No, I don't even like, no, that's, you know, that I, I, I like this look, you know, I like that lean, crisp, balanced look. 
I think it's awesome. I think it's fucking cool. I think it's way more awesome. And I think it's the way to do things. And it would fucking suck to be beholden to having it to, 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 to take all these drugs. You know, you want to go traveling for a week. You want to go hang out with your friends. And you got to worry about, you know, taking certain drugs and taking certain injections. And then having to cycle on and then cycle off. And then, you know, all the downsides of that. And, you know, you have to... You have to, all these other things to worry about, and you have to worry about estrogen blockers. You have to worry about, oh fuck, am I going to get bitch tits? Am I going to get side effects where I get the receding hairline? I get the acne. I get more detrimental effects. You know, my 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 balls get shrunk. You know, I'm increasing my risk of numerous diseases by doing this. Um, if I ever want to come off it, my natural testosterone levels are going to be completely fucked. I don't want to play around with that shit. I do this stuff because I want freedom. Ultimately, my fitness brand is about giving people amazing results, but giving them freedom. Get amazing results training three days a week. Go out, do fast each day, be focused, alert, enjoy amazing meals. It's about fucking freedom. Have your cake, eat it too, but part of that is accepting that, you know what? 170 and shredded is pretty fucking cool. It's pretty fucking cool. And the idea that you're getting up to 185, 190, I mean, all these people that get on this fucking gear track, that get super into this volume culture, it, it defines them, it controls them, it becomes their identity, it, 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 it's a trap. They get stuck in it. They're stuck in it, it consumes their entire life. Their confidence is, is based around um, how big they are, how much muscle they have. You know how dangerous that is? You know how fucking wrong that is? The same thing if you meet a hot girl. If you meet a hot girl and she just thinks she's the shit because she's so fucking hot and you're just like not into it at all. You're like, you fucking have no idea. You didn't have to work for a thing in your life. You know, build your identity. Build who you are of something besides something that's superficial. Have intelligence. Work towards a goal. Have something in, like inside you. Be balanced. Be well-rounded. That's what's cool. Not just, you know, defining yourself off of superficial traits. <sighs> All right, well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, not gonna tell you to subscribe, not gonna tell you to hit the like button, not gonna tell you to join this and that, because I want you guys to focus on the message. I want this stuff to sink in. And I'll talk to you soon.